Hi, Mark Coniglio, creator of Isadora here. Today, I'm going to give a brief demonstration of our new free software, Siphon Virtual Webcam. This uh, little app allows you to take the Siphon feed from Isadora or any program that offers a Siphon video feed and send it into a program that only accepts a webcam input. Now, it doesn't work with every app, but it works with quite a few, and you can see a list of which ones work by looking into the app. But let's just see how to set it up, okay? So I've got the, the application here, so I'll double click. And the first time you run it, it's gonna ask you to install a driver that is actually being used or created for uh, Open Broadcast System or OBS. So we're gonna download that, it automates the process for you. And once that's complete, you can check your browser. Yes, there it is, close that now and quit. So now we can say continue and it automatically runs the installer for you. You say continue, install, type your password. And then you click install software and it's done. And you say move to trash and then it says it's complete and you have to quit and restart. So we quit and we double click Siphon Virtual Webcam another time. And there you see the little window, nothing coming up yet. And this uh, information here, this help information, will show up the first time also. You can close that. If you ever need to read it again, just choose Siphon Virtual Webcam Help. Yeah. So I've actually got Isadora set up to provide a feed. You can see that it's here, but no image yet. So let's go over to Isadora, which I've hidden. And I'm just going to start that going. So it's just a simple set of auto follow cues. It's got a video going and oh, the virtual, there we go. Uh, black and white image of me from the webcam, other webcam on the computer, and a graphic. And it just cycles through that just so we have a signal. In Isadora's stage setup, I've chosen here siphon output. Yeah. In the, if you're using a different app, you need to enable the siphon output in that app. We'll leave that up to you to figure out how to do. So we've got siphon going. And now if I hide as a door, I'll just put that in the background. You can see it's coming in to siphon virtual webcam, right? So now the next step would be to open the app that you want to receive that signal. I'm going to use QuickTime Player as an example. So we're just going to open QuickTime Player. And I'm going to say new movie recording. So it comes up. Now that's the actual internal webcam it's defaulted to. But I'm going to go here and I'm going to select OBS virtual camera, right? And you would do this in whatever app you want to receive the signal in, just like you would choose a webcam. So I'm going to choose that. And you can see that the signal is coming in. I'm going to make the window a bit smaller. And there you see that it's coming in. Now you'll notice the reason I did that graphic was you'll see it's flipped. The default setting is that in a lot of apps it will show up correctly in terms of the horizontal flip. But in QuickTime Player it shows up backwards. But that's super easy to fix. You just go over here and uncheck the mirror button. And now you'll see that it's correct. The orientation is correct left and right. That's basically it. At that point, you now have a siphon feed coming from whatever app you've chosen in this pop-up menu here. And that's going to be turned into this virtual webcam that you can use with other apps. Yeah, And then you're off and running and you can use those apps to send video and get it across. We've tested this with uh, one important thing we've tested this with is the Blackboard system used for teaching. It works fine with that if you're running in the browser. Works really okay in uh, in Chrome, for instance, yeah? So that's all there is to it. That's the whole setup. And if you have any questions down in the uh, comments below or the description, you'll see a link to our forum where we have a thread about this app. And if you have any questions or problems or things you want to know, post it in our forum, join our forum, and we'll be happy to help you out. Okay? That's it. That's how you use Siphon Virtual Webcam. See you at one of our other tutorials. Look forward to seeing you on the Isadora forum. Bye-bye.